Matt Bastard here. Well, rare limited edition and I want to say adorable prize which promises to be delicious. It's the Miji Apollo Chocolate Mixed Berry Soda Flavor. That means it's from the land of Zahan. Of course, you're rolling your eyes semi-sarcastically. Well, frankly, you can kiss my ass because getting stuff from America down under or Britain is breathtakingly expensive, convoluted, if you can even get it, and just not worth the fucking bother considering I'm not getting paid to do this and a really great, I mean, a spectacular video might have 30 to 50 people wa uh, watching it. That sort of built. You know, a really great video might have 30 people watch it. So I recommend it to a couple of friends that might hit almost 40 views. And yeah, so far on this channel, the stuff that's blown up has gotten not even a hundred views. So I'm, I'm not killing myself in a fragile phone for content. Also, shipping, if I was to personally import the stuff, is. Oof. Um, check it out yourself, um, be warned, sit down and have a stiff drink on hand because you'll fucking need one. And the seat too. Anyway, this is what it looks like, a cute little thing. Designed to celebrate the 50th anniversary of landing on the moon. Adorable little box, I won't even keep it actually, it's so cute. There it is. Cute little thing. Ooh, look, I can make a little display out of it. Really is a cute, cute little box. I mean, um, it's almost a shame I it's a shame I didn't get two of these actually, just so I could keep one because it's just wouldn't that be a great piece of hell for an alley of heaven? A couple of decades later. But there we go. Oh, it's even cooler. Look at this. It's even cooler, look at that. Oh. Oh, impressed. I'm impressed. Ah, there it is. There it is, a little display box. Oh, god damn, that is, that is adorable. I mean, that is adorable. Individually wrapped things too. Strawberry. And you can tell this channel has got the recyclability logo, like code D. Air cars on the street. Oh, it's a fat little thing. And it is. It's gotten a bit warm, as you can tell by the hazing. That's the chocolate, the soluble fat in the chocolate rising to the surface. May affect. Texture, absolute flavour, therefore absolute quality, but it's not harmful. Uh, and there's a few spots there where it's gotten a bit, yuck. But it's still good. I'm still gonna have it. Doing a blueberry from the blue bit. I do think strawberry from the white bit, pink bit. Oh, that is lovely. It's not blending, that is just... Oh, that is lovely. I mean, this is the sort of reason grown adults still eat candy. And hopefully, we're watching my channel to find out. And even after making requests, I, I'm open minded to requests on what exactly to get because it's worth it. I mean, it's worth being a bit childish, a bit waiting for a bit, stupid a bit. I'm getting a childish. And just admitting, you know, whatever your age, um, as long as you aren't like an angry alcoholic toss pot, 
a bit of whimsy, a bit of childishness, just a bit, a little splash here and there, really makes life worth living. Ooh, that popping candy. Really going off now. And this, this is, oh my, oh my god, look how cute that is. Damn, that's adorable. I mean, even ingredients and nutrition and the factoids about the little you know, polo chocolate shell is, um, it's adorable. And the taste is, oh, the blueberry on its own is lovely. The strawberry is nice, and I hate strawberry. If you're a regular watcher of this channel, you'll know that. But when they get together, it's, um, I don't want to sound generic, but it is really Japanese. It's, it's, they have, the way they artificially flavor stuff, it has a very particular mannerism. It's a very silky, um, almost chalky if you were feeling unkind. A very, very mono flavor. It, it just comes to you to create a superior flavor. It's not like if you could tease them apart when you need to grieve ease. Um, unlike, say, you would get with, say, a Jolly Ranchers or something in America, we even bother in Europe, really. Um, it's not two distinct flavors in a pissing match, creating one mega flavor in a thermonuclear explosion of flavors. It's you know two flavors genuinely coming but one to make the better flavor. It's damn damn sexy. Not the least because it works really well here in those little chocolate shells, beautifully. And the popping candy. Well, you don't have to chew on the chocolate. It's a bit irritating because you don't want to. You know, anything weird happening, or all of a sudden you just feel this big. <laughs> I've been pulling any shovel and everything. Oh shit, is my. Did I do something? If you're over the age of 40 and you've got crowns and fillings everywhere and, and your teeth are a bit. shit. At least you've fanatically looked after them all your life so far. So that's a bit. You know, something you don't will take into consideration over a child. But when you're over that and you're just enjoying the flavor and there's a popping candy just bubbling away, it's just, oh, yeah. The sort of thing where you can sit back with dopey gear and reminisce about your childhood, dude. It really is. And children are gonna love it even more. By Japanese stems, I do have to admit, it is very sweet. So probably a long way of explaining this little display here because in Japan, you'd have one of these, this, a day, and you're feeling good enough to really enjoy it and savor it properly. You're having a good day and you're in a good mindset and your taste buds are primed and ready and it would just make your day brilliant. So it is sweet by Japanese standards, but by Western standards, meh, so-so. It is what it is. It's a bit sweet, but please, you've, you've probably, without realizing it, you've probably had a sweeter bolognese sauce for God's sake. If you want to start something in Facebook, go to your local supermarket, take a look at this whole sugar content in all the bolognese sauces, take some photos of the nutritional panel, and just start World War 16 on Facebook. So I'm sure Facebook has already had World War 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Start World War 16. You will not believe how much sauce is in your average bolognese, sugar is in your average bolognese sauce. That last idea, I'm going to find something sexy. I know something nice about this sexy little thing. It was live, free, and, as more me, other scripting of all this spluttering, can't you?